Good evening, Otter Creek FL and the Shady Bunch members and DJ Radis supporters. Tonight, we finally caught up with Thomas the Biscuit Boy Collins from his remote hiding spot for that long-awaited interview. Hello, Mr. Biscuit Boy, or do you prefer Thomas Collins? Mr. Biscuit Boy is fine, providing you say biscuit without the second eye. I got hungry one night and ate it. Now the word is easier to spell. You have been awfully hard to find for the interview you agreed to do weeks ago. Where have you been? Ever since I got a warning that Mr. Hales was getting his lawyers to send me a cease and desist letter, I have been acting like a Wookiee hiding in the brush on Dead Dog Road. I figured if they can't find me, they can't serve me. Why would Mr. Hales be trying to have you served with a cease and desist? Well, I run my own YouTube channel and I wanted to grow my fan base, so I would deliberately tag my videos with what the Hales, so when his fans would search for his videos, mine would also display. I figured I could ride on his coattails for more exposure. Are you and Lie net friends? That is basically the same answer she gave, trying to use Mr. Hales to get bigger. So my notes say you have been working for a pile of shit. I mean, Sharp Michelle, the Jokerless from New Jersey. What have you been doing for her? Well, actually, Lynette and I are friends. I often go to her house to mow her bush. Wink, wink. When John goes to town to pick up groceries. As for Miss Sharp Michelle, she was struggling to be taken seriously for her town hall records requests and reached out to me. She sees real potential in me becoming a jokerless like herself. So, Biscuit Boy, how do you survive? What do you do for a 9 to 5 style job? Well, I'm actually currently living off welfare and doing YouTube and scrap collecting on the side. I like to think of it as the TMU version of Mr. Hale's Fun Employed. I refuse to be held down to any one thing. I enjoy just waking up at 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon and driving around Otter Creek harassing people. Who have you been harassing? I video stalk Belinda, the town clerk, daily. I make a new freedom of information request every day, then go back 30 minutes later to see if she dropped everything else to prepare it. I tell her it's no rush, but I'll go back to town hall constantly until I get what I wanted. Sometimes I'll even ride around with the ex-town mayor, Russ. We video record everyone, sometimes even hiding in the bushes to do so. We don't consider it creepy if there are two of us doing it. Remind me after the interview to get a protection order against you. That is very, very creepy. So I've seen some of your videos before helping the town of Otter Creek out. Most of them seem staged. Have you ever staged a video before to get more views and likes? Actually, there was this one time just after the recent hurricane that hit the coast off Cedar Key. The winds brought down a lot of tree branches. Nothing major. The bigger limbs managed to not fall on the road. So I was driving down this one road just after the storm had passed and saw a medium-sized branch laying on the side of the road. I stopped and no one was around. I moved the branch onto the road and waited. In the distance, I saw Vice Mayor Zim driving towards me. I made it look like I was removing the fallen branch so I would get praise from him. He saw right through my Lido. He called me out on my bullshit. I happened to record the conflict and before I posted it to YouTube, edited it to make myself look better. After it being online for only a few hours, people called me out for being a fraud and I took the video down. I just wanted more likes and love, but all I got was hateful comments and negative feedback. So after the recent town hall meeting, you were approached by the ex-town mayor's husband asking you if you are ever going to come back over from the dark side. Have you taken much consideration into putting your limited skills and even less knowledge into doing things good? Not really. Life is easier when you're a baked potato doing nothing. I have no responsibilities, no real job, no real future. I'm living the American dream. Well, that is all the time we have tonight, folks. We will be reaching out to the ex-town mayor, Russ the Sus, for an interview next. If this is your first time on DJ Radis's channel, hit subscribe, click the bell notification so you don't miss any videos. Give the video a like, leave a comment for the algorithm, and share this video on all social media platforms. After we smashed DJ Radis's goal of 1,000 subscribers, we are now pushing for 10,000. Come join us on Facebook. Search for Otter Creek FL and the Shady Bunch.